Hello everyone, great to be here. We're going to tell you a story which started when I was five years old. Um, I woke up one morning, I thought wouldn't it be great to cook my parents a very special breakfast. So I went down to the kitchen and I found a packet of cornflakes, a couple of bananas, and I thought, let's make a cake. So I made my first cereal cake. I really can't remember if my parents thought it was any good. What the heck? I created something. And from that moment, I'm not telling this story to be, to be cute. No, I'm trying to tell you I have a passion for food, a great passion for food. Good afternoon. My name is Linda, and this is my dear friend Samuel. Almost everything about us is completely different. For example, I'm a vegetarian, and he produces sausages. But uh, we have one thing in common, that's that we are in love. Madly in love, in love with food. As with all love, it is, of course, has its backsides. Let me guide you to three of the food system's failure. For the first one, living welfare. Agricultural subsidies are stopping farmers in the developing country from having a fair living. The second, environment. The meat industry, the carbon footprint of the meat industry, is the biggest of all the sectors. And the third one is, for example, animal welfare. In Holland alone, 12 million pigs never see sunlight. I, I dare say there's more things to say about us, but um, I, do, I do agree with you on the, on the food and the meat and stuff. Um, but what you're trying to say is, <laughs> I'm a butcher, I, I, but I have to agree because there's a lot of bad things going on. But what you're saying, eating is actually a political act. And we should realise that we go into the supermarket every day and we make choices. We are voting. Um, and and um, we believe that us young people need to make new decisions, new choices. And that our food should be good, clean and fair. This is so important. Therefore, along with another group of young people, it's not only us two, we started the youth food movement because we believe that by working together, we can actually change the system. Um, Linda and I can fight about the meat thing, but we can also work together, side by side, and actually change the things we dislike. And everyone is taking their part, and they're doing it good. For example, uh, the guys in Wageningen, they're really doing really well. And also last week I heard that Unilever is finally really taking responsibility. Poo -poo. And on the other end, farmers are using uh, less chemicals. And we as, our, as consumers, we vote with our forks. But the problem is, we're doing it all on our small little islands. We don't communicate. And that's the problem. And therefore, we try to make a solution. We came up with a youth food movement. This academy connects people from different backgrounds. This results, for example, that one of our marketeers is right now helping one of our organic farmers to make a new product. This ac academy is our idea we are already doing. Um, it's our little education system. We take people, we, they go fishing, far, harvesting, we cook together, we eat together, and then the participants um, give lessons at elementary and high schools to actually spread the knowledge and in inspire people to actually take part of our network. Um, I believe that we are all consumers. So we all have the power to change the system. And I think that we should all start today together and we should all fall in, in love, love with, with food, food just like us. <laughs>